a rock star who used his fame to abuse and make others abuse for him. For years, Ian Watkins enjoyed a life of world tours and luxury hotels. Today, he arrived in court in a prison van, knowing that he'd be facing a lengthy term in jail. He appeared calm in the dock as the court heard how, following his conviction last month, Watkins made a phone call from prison saying, I don't know what everyone is getting so freaked about. I'm not a paedophile. I'm not. I pleaded guilty just to avoid the trial. While a trial wasn't necessary, questions remain over whether Watkins could have been stopped sooner. One former partner says she warned the police in 2008. I'm furious because repeatedly, 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 I would be either going to the police station or I'd be on the phone to them, repeatedly saying, you need to do something, and giving them details, giving them names of victims, giving them names of people who I suspected to be involved as well. The police forces who investigated Watkins are now under investigation. One South Wales officer has been formally accused of gross misconduct. The investigation into Watkins' crimes is also continuing and is looking abroad. There's inquiries going on in Germany. There are inquiries going on in the United States. Uh, my belief is that he's offended in those countries and possibly offended more in this country as well. I have never seen anything like this in my 28 years service. Um, it's the most traumatic and harrowing footage that anyone would ever uh, see. Ian Watkins' actions have sickened not only his fans but his bandmates. They've called for any other victims to come forward and speak to the police.